In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your online learning materials. To do this, we'll step through the process of opening up your student emails for the first time and then accessing your OneNote class notebook that your teacher has set up for you. The first step we need to do is open up your internet browser. I recommend using Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome for this process. If you're on a Mac, you can use Google Chrome or Safari. When this opens up, the first website that you're going to go to is office.com. When you access this site, the first thing you'll need to do is choose the Sign In button. To sign in, you'll use your student email address, which is your student's username followed by at eq.edu.au. Then choose Next. This will take you to our Managed Internet Service login page. On this page, you will only use your username and your password. This will then ask you if you would like to si stay signed in. That is a personal preference. When you log on to this website, this is your home base for all of your Education Queensland Office products. From this page, we're going to choose Outlook. This is where you can access all of your school emails. When you open this folder, you might see that it says the inbox has one, but it doesn't actually show up. If you go up the top of the screen and change to other, you might find that your SharePoint app email is in here. If you still can't find an email from either SharePoint app or from your teacher, have a look in your junk email in case it's gone there instead. Once you find the SharePoint app email, you select it by clicking on the email, and then down here, we press the open button. Since this is the first time I've opened this notebook or used OneNote online, it's gonna pop up with some guides over the front. I'm gonna press got it for now. will also tell you about your privacy options. Once you've read through those and you're happy with those, press the close button to continue. Now you have successfully opened your OneNote class notebook. We'll go through some steps on how to use and navigate that notebook in another video.